there was a time in Infinite Magic Raid when you needed to have auto at 100% for your teams. Because if you don't do that, your multi-battle stamina, this one right here, would have been wasted. So, now with this new skip function, you don't need to have that perfect. You just need to have a team that can win at least 50% of the time. So that you skip and even when you fail you just keep again because when you skip you don't lose you don't use stamina to skip and your key doesn't count unless you have a victory so it is very important that you use this skip function instead of using multi battle and to me skipping is way faster now like i also said on the advantage is that your team doesn't need to be perfect normally i have stronger characters i have gilliman for battle 28 where you need to strip the boss of his shield i have gilliman that can do that uh, I have uh, Anita and Jean that can do way more damage than uh, Moshi. But I'm going to use Moshi here for those that might not have any of these two, either Jean or Nita, and also those that don't have Gilliman. If you have Moshi, Moshi can actually do the job of these three guys. She can do damage and she can strip the boss of his shield. I'll show you my auto, but first of all, before showing the auto, let me just show you how this skip would work. Like I said, it is not a hundred percent, but it doesn't need to be a hundred percent. I have three keys. Let's go. Let's skip the first battle. Let's see if we get a victory or a defeat. We got a victory. We're lucky this time. So let's try that again. Oh, we also got another victory. Okay, that's working. Let's try it one more time. One more key. We got another victory. That's crazy. That's really amazing. So sometimes I'll get some defeat in between. But yeah, you can see that before you do it 15 times, maybe you have to do it 20 times to get 15 victories. And like I said, your key is not being wasted. So that's it. So let's just quickly go through the auto command for every every character on this team. Yeah, so let's check out their auto. So you can see Olivia for wave one. This is for wave two. Remember this new, I like this new auto command where you use a feature only, sorry, where you use a skill only once. That's what this one stands for. In my case, I'm putting once, but I can put any number I like. But in this case, I need to use these skills only once in this wave. And this is the third wave. Then let's check out, okay, let me just show you a quick look at our stats. So you can have some idea. You can take screenshots of all of this. I'm trying to make sure this video is not too long. <laughs> uh maya let's check out wave one these are commands wave two this is the command and wave three then let's check out our stats these are our stats yep that's basically it let's go to dustin wave one wave two see using active skill one just once wave three plus his stats these are his stats you can see just pay attention to the characters that are fast. Make the fastest characters needs to be the fastest characters on your team as well. Niru doesn't need to be as fast, but yeah. Wave one, wave two, and wave three. These are stats. Yeah. And finally, Moshi. Wave one. Is it Moshi or Moji or Moxi? <laughs> Either way, whatever I'm going to call her, but yeah, I just prefer to call her Moshi. Yeah, wave one, wave two, and wave three. These are stats. You can see my stats are not that great, but it's enough to... If you're struggling with this tower and you don't have anybody to remove the shield of the boss, Moshi can do that. You don't have strong damage dealers, Moshi can do that. So yeah, of course, your, your chances get higher if you get your Moshi to exclusive three. In my case, she's just E2. But once she's E3, she gets 40% attack boost on uh, active skill 1. That changes the game entirely for her. Anyways, if you do enjoy my videos, guys, smash the subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one.